focusing on what you got going on yourself, what worked mm -hmm. for you, what's best for you. A lot of people be so stuck on like watching everything and everybody else or looking at social media all day and it's like mm -hmm. they dictate their life off of what everybody else doing. Right. You ain't gonna get there like that. You know what I'm saying? I saw your uh, Twitter rant about people like being stuck on clout. And how do you feel like you don't succumb to being stuck on like what's popping on social media and stuff like that? I don't know. It's like some shit. Like it's just in you. And it ain't. Right. That shit just ain't in me. You be on there often, or you just don't even really. Everybody be on social media, but it's like y'all you know? know the ones you can look and tell the ones it's just they live their life on right. social media. You know what right. I'm saying? To you know how to like that shit Drake just sitting there around like people having more followers than dollars. Mm. And that shit just the honest to God truth. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And some people ain't got the followers yet, but they ain't thinking about the dollars. They thinking about the number of them followers. They want them followers. Mm. They ain't even really stuck on the dollars. Like, they want them followers. They want that attention. It used to be called attention. Like, everybody used to want attention. It just translated now to the followers. Everybody want them views and them followers. And it's cool, but goddamn, like, <laughs> come on now. I mean, them followers right. do sometimes turn into dollars. Yeah, but at the same time, it shit, some people don't know. It. They ain't, that's not resonate with them. They wanna, they just wanna like be in the mix. They just wanna, they just want talking and gossiping and shit to be going on. Like right. that shit ain't about it. Gossiping don't get you shit. They ain't, I don't know, man. Right, it's I like, might be wrong, but I don't know. You make it work for you how you, how you want to use it as a tool, right? Yeah, it's exactly. Easy. It's like don't get me wrong. You gotta you get your shit up. It's not like, I look at social media, it's all about money. Like, mm -hmm. I look at everything about money. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you run your shit up, you know what I'm saying? Like, get your money off of it. But a lot of people, they not, they ain't, they ain't trying to do that. Mm. They just right. want to, like, be in the gossip topics and the gossip situation, right. the, the talk and the attention. Like, mm -hmm. fuck the money. I don't know who raised where they get that shit from. <laughs> get that up off your mind. <laughs> it might just be where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, bro, I'm from Memphis, and it's like everything about paper with us. You know what right. I mean? It's like everything. You know what I mean? It's like we're going to find the littlest, the bullshittest thing, whatever we into, is we're going we gonna to go back to the shit. Do we got anything to do with money? You know what right. I'm saying? Like, if you ain't got nothing to do with money, that shit ain't got nothing to do with me. First and foremost, my condolences to his family and friends. It's a sad situation. It's something that should have never happened. It's something that could have been prevented. My thing is, in the beginning of stories like this, there's always some truth. Why were they gambling at a bowling alley? Outside of the bowling alley? At a mall? Whatever. Why? And they supposed to be millionaires. I got a lot of questions, you know, if it was an accident, then who were the bullets meant for? And who were the other two people that got hit? Because no one seemed to be concerned about them. Why did J Prince son walk past them as if nothing was going on as if he did not care did Bushwick Bill's son change his name cause I don't get it why are people calling him Lil Cam why people gotta check in with J Prince when they go to Houston do the FBI and HPD know about that I'm just trying to get an understanding cause it just seemed like a bunch of nonsense to me. And why people be mad when things are recorded and put on the internet? I don't get that either. Imagine this. If Emmett Till Mama didn't have an open casket, we would have never known what them folks did to her son. So I don't understand why people be mad about videos that they click on and watch. No one made you do that. I just don't know which part of this is worse. The internet detectives, the conspiracy theorists, or the fake outrage. The first 48 ran 22 seasons. And in each season, 
10 or more episodes were aired. Bodies everywhere. No one complained about that. Y'all watch that. Then we have rappers that are now complaining. Talking about they targets. What? How can you be the target? And on the other hand, y'all influence this type of behavior in y'all music. I just don't get it. Y'all got to pick a side. Either you're going to be a gangster or a homebody. Because here's the thing. When you choose to be a gangster, when you jump off that porch and choose that type of lifestyle, just know the streets don't love nobody. Anybody can get it. You got people sitting on the internet every day, all day long since the incident happened. Uploading video after video after video after video. Playing detective. Y'all ain't going to solve this case. Y'all need to let them people do their job. Cameras were everywhere. HPD know exactly what's going on. There will be an arrest. This will not go unsolved. Let them people do their job. Give the family some respect. Y'all uploading video after video after video after video. I get it. Some people may truly be concerned and may really, really want to help. But I haven't seen anything by far that's helpful at all. At this point, it doesn't matter what led up to it. Because at the end of the day, it was nonsense. And we do know that it was black on black crime. So when the suspects are arrested and charged, just know it'll be a black man. Y'all slowing down the videos, putting circles around people, pouring arrows at people. It's a bunch of nonsense. The same thing y'all got, HPD got. The same videos that you all are sharing, they got that and some. They even got the videos from the parking lot with the two black SUVs speeding from the crime scene. If they didn't have it, you wouldn't have it. Y'all ain't gonna solve this case with y'all conspiracy theories. Y'all internet detections and the fake outrage. Oh my God. <laughs> Some of y'all didn't pay takeoff no attention when he was living. It was all about Quavo and Offset. But now he gone. Here comes all the fake outrage. This is so sad. It's so sad. It's pathetic. The way some people just jump on the internet and behave. I get it. Some people are truly concerned. But not everybody. And Jay Prince ain't nobody. He ain't running Houston. I remember the time when NBA Youngboy checked him. Yes, he is suspicious. Him and his entourage. The entire incident is suspect. I get that. I get that some people are concerned. But once again, not everybody. Some people just want to have something to talk about. Y'all don't know what happened to that man. The people that was there don't know what's going on. Everybody that came down to the line, all them females that was there, that came down to the line to give their side of the story does not match. That speaks volumes. It says a lot. Everybody talking about something different. Everybody blaming somebody different. But at the end of the day, it was black on black crime. A black man fired that gun and put those bullets in that man and took his life. That's what we do know. 
at the end of the day. These rappers got to start hiring real security because employing your homeboy from the hood ain't it. Y'all got to get y'all some retired police officers, some people that are trained because the people that y'all are hiring, they just shooting. They trigger happy. They just shooting. And these are the results. A mother has to bury her son and two other people were seriously injured due to negligence and nonsense. And if it wasn't an accident, shame on you. Whoever is responsible for what happened to that man need to be in jail. 